Hi, my name is George. Welcome to PaintReproductions.com. Today we're going to go over the Milkmaid Griselle 101 for the painting The Milkmaid by Vermeer. I know we touched base on this a few times. I just want to uh, reiterate before we get started painting. Okay, so what this part of the lecture includes is what is Griselle? Why a Griselle layer? Uh, lecture on tools and techniques to complete the Griselle phase. And of course the instructional demonstration to follow along with with the Griselle completion. And your assignment is complete your Griselle layer before moving on to the blocking phase. It's very important that you complete 100% of the Griselle layer before moving on to the blocking. Okay, also too, a big note is I'm going to include the grayscale image and the guideline image. I'm going to provide it with this lecture so you can use it as a, a reference, your work reference, or I call them the working image. Okay, what is Griselle layer? The Griselle is dead layer. It's simply a painting done in grayscale. Okay, and the amount of actual detail varies by subject and artist. In this case, when we're dealing with a mirror, the amount of detail is about 90%. This will be completed in black and white before moving to color. And this technique has been around since the early 15th century, so it's not anything new. It's not used as much anymore. A lot of times you're painting paint directly to canvas. But the masters knew to do this to work out all the composition and work out all the other details, especially with the expense of paint. Okay, and why use a Griselle layer? Well, if you concentrate on proportions and tonal scales, you concentrate on proportions and a tonal scale instead of colors. Okay, so you're concentrating on one simple thing, and that is to get a really nice drawing. Okay, the Griselle adds depth to the painting and allows glazing directly over the Griselle layer, which is really important. Uh, um, Vermeer, you'll find that the only time we're really going to do some direct glazing over the Griselle layer is on the back wall. We'll do glazing and scumbling. Uh, we're going to have foundations of color and build Griselle over that for Vermeer. But you'll see in other artworks and other different kinds of paintings, you'll see where the Griselle is just, I mean, where the uh, glaze is added just directly over the Griselle layer. The basic Griselle technique, Griselle technique for the milkmaid is this specific sitting will require more detail of the Griselle layer. Okay, so we just went over this. We're going to do a lot of detail on this. Uh, each layer is done in multiple sittings instead of all at once. Okay, picture it just like you're doing a sketch. You're going to do an initial sketch. You're going to add a little detail. You're going to add a little detail. You're going to add a little detail. Do a little blending. Add a little detail. Then you're going to start adding some white. You're going to add. You're going to keep doing this over multiple sittings, allowing each sitting to dry. Okay, because we're just using black and white. Usually, it dries within 24 hours. Uh, you could put a fan on it overnight, and it could dry sooner. Okay, no buildup of paint. Okay, I'll also be showing. You'll be seeing me do a technique. I talked about earlier where uh, when I'm doing a shadowed area, area, I'm basically drawing a black line and then shading out the black line, uh, just like if you're using a blending a blending tool when you're doing a sketch. So the more detailed an area, the more times you will come back and the more details and refine the Griselle layer. Take as much time as needed to make corrections and work for almost a perfect grayscale image. The better your image comes out here, the better your image is going to come out in the end. It would be best to stay lighter than the original because the glazing will darken with each layer. You want to plan for this, but don't worry too much about it because the glazing layers are very transparent when done right. I want to thank you for watching and let's have some fun, do some painting. 